Hi, in this video I'm painting this lion with storm clouds and lightning in acrylics. So I started blocking in the general shapes of the clouds. Unfortunately, I missed recording the rest. I was experimenting a lot using a lot of water and a dry hake brush to smooth the brush strokes out. And it took a lot of layers until they looked how I wanted. Here I moved on to the rock that he's standing on. I painted it black. Then I started to build up some blue highlights. Some soft and some harsher. The soft ones I smoothed out with my hake brush or mop brush. I want to make sure that my lines are horizontal or slightly diagonal in the same direction so I don't mess up my perspective. Here I moved on to the lightning strike painting it white. It took a couple of layers to get it completely opaque and I had previously drawn it out and transferred it onto my canvas with transfer paper. Here I wanted to get a glow around the lightning so I sprayed water with an ultra fine mist spray bottle but it was easier with a hog brush. Then I added some transparent white and smoothed it out with my hake brush. Adding the water first makes it so the edges blends out seamlessly into the dry background almost as if I had done it wet into wet but I should have made it more opaque because it kind of disappeared when it dried. That is also how I did most of the clouds, by adding water first, then paint, then smooth out with the hake brush. And I use, use a hake brush instead of the mop brush because it can take a lot more water than the mop brush. And I use a lot of water with this technique. It takes some practice and a very smooth canvas, of course. And when I have painted using this much water, I will usually let it cure overnight before painting on top. Or I find that it can lift when I try to add another layer, even if it feels dry. But it's usually no problem if I let it sit overnight before painting on top. So here I'm blocking in my first very ugly layer, that's normal, on the lion. I have also off camera glazed ultramarine blue over the lightning glow. Starting with the mouth, and I like to start with the darkest areas first, and again I used my transfer paper to transfer my line drawing. I'm just blocking in everything in the mouth, focusing on my lights and darks, and I added some texture on the tongue which will get toned down later when I glaze over it. Mm -hmm. 
When you're painting teeth, they are almost never white. They are more gray and tan. Save the white for the brightest highlights. So here I'm roughly blocking in the darks and lights in his mane, not worrying so much about individual hair strands yet, they will go on top of this layer. So this lion is actually a combination of three different lions because I could not find a reference photo of a lion that were precisioned how I wanted, so I used multiple photos for this one. So here I have added all the hair strands off camera because apparently pressing a button is hard. So I painted them white first and now I'm glazing them with burnt sienna and some purple. 